Hi, I'm Trace Hallfield, and I'm here to talk about ArcSight Logger 6.7. One of the things I want to talk about today very specifically is how easy it is to go from a large data set and drill down to what you're specifically looking for, and from that, add that search to a dashboard to always be there for at your fingertips when you need it. So one of the things that we're going to start with right now is looking at the overall data set that's in logger and you'll notice that there's millions of events here on the global summary page the area that i'm specifically going to talk with right now is down here in the agent type all the different databases where the information is being sourced from and stored into logger the ones i'm curious about today is going to deal with snort snort is an open source network intrusion detection system which just happens to be in this environment. And by drilling into it, we're going to look at specifically those thousands of events that have been recorded by Snort. You'll notice here, as it's parsing through all of the events, there's over 23 million events that are in aggregate in the system right now, and of which 82,000 are related to Snort. Now, with that being said, of the 82,000, I still want to know a little bit more about what are these things, because I can look at the name over here in this column, and it's going to give me some categories. I am going to sort by adding a delimiter. We're going to do top name, and what this will allow us to do is sort those name pivot table style, if you will, to host, pull those out so we know exactly what those event categories will be. And as you can see, the system sliced through that in 10 seconds, those 23 million events, and came back with 42. And by grouping them up, we'll see the 42 by count listed out here makes it super simple to figure out what your next step and where you want to dive deeper. Myself, I'm really curious about the worm propagation attempt. What's up with this? What we've allowed, or Microsoft Focus has focused in on, is making this super simple. So if I double click the category of the worm propagation, you'll notice in the search field up here, the information was already updated. It took out the top, it added the where name is equal to, so then it said, show me only the worm propagation attempts. You'll notice the 5,000 events that's come back. And you can see them called out here. Of course, I need to know a little bit more. I need to understand where is that pop source coming from? Who is the one doing the scanning? or I should say worm propagation attempts. So we're going to add this extra delimiter on there for the top source address. ArcSight's going to go back through those events and specifically call out, here are the three source addresses. These are the things that you want to slice and dice to figure out where you need to go to either internally stop this or externally block it so it doesn't make it in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the next part that I had told you early we would do, and that is create a dashboard from these searches. So I'm going to go back to the top name, the sorting of the categories, so we can have a nice visual representation. I'm going to save this filter. And we're going to call this smart top name. I'm also going to go back and set, that's a filter search. I want to do a smart top name save search so I can add this into my dashboard. I'm going to go over to the dashboard section where I've already created a customized dashboard. And earlier I did one for semantic 
denied. Well, the semantic agent is denying processes from executing on systems, so I can dig into that. Blue coat web pages, I'm really curious to see what people or machines are surfing out to. And as you can see, Home Depot is the number one surf website on this network. But more importantly, I need to add a panel into here and we want to find our snort top name we're going to add it and the system will add what we had created just a minute ago into the panel here and it's getting the information and getting it refreshed and updating and boom there it is so thank you very much for your time today if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me Take care.